Hello, this is Ethereal Awakening. I'm doing an individual zodiac tarot reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your North Node. The biggest indicator if a tarot card reading is for you is your heart. Use your heart. If it resonates, there's a message there for you. If it leaves a bad taste in your mouth, spit it out. Walk away. No big deal. All right. Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And the sign of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you in advance. First, current energy. Knight of Rods. <coughs> Five of Cups. Heart space, moon, knight of cups, possible outcome, the full, and hermit. Going up there, Virgo. Um, <clears throat> underlying energy. Two of Cups. Eight of Cups. King of Cups. Walking away from someone emotionally unfulfilling. So, Virgo, um, Current energy is the king, or I'm sorry, the knight of rods and the five of cups. So, yeah, this knight is looking at the five of cups, um, inspecting his feelings, maybe sitting too, maybe sitting a little too, too long in a state of mourning. Um, looking at the future though, so there's, I mean, there's two cups on the five of cups and then the underlying energy was two cups. So this is, this is a relationship of some sort that has not, not been as fulfilling as you wished it to be, Virgo. I, I want to say, I do not speak solely on romantic relationships. Relationships come in all kinds of flavors, familial, platonic, romantic, co, you know, working relationships, acquaintances, you know, it, it, you, you even have relationships with strangers to some level. But either this is just speaking on, you know, something that was emotionally invested and, and, and didn't pan out. And this knight is kind of watching, looking at the emotion sides of it. And then when we come into your heart space, Virgo, we've got, you know, the moon and then the knight of cups which there's that one of the cups. So there's a progression from night. So there's the, an, a passionately offered thing that didn't pan out. And then I don't, it's almost like you're not, maybe you're not paying attention to the right, the details of why this didn't work out. Or not the right details. Like you're not stepping back for the bigger picture. Like, now you're just ready to, you know, without, you know, the moon is things not known and you're just ready to jump into the fool, you know, this, this hermit and fool and your possible outcome. It's almost like the hermits stopping the fool from going into the future. Like you need to go within Virgo because that's your energy there. That, Vir that hermit is Virgo energy. So stopping you from going and moving forward because this moon card has yet to have, have some light shed on it. <clears throat> so it's, I believe that these knights are, are cupping the five of cups. There's something in the emotions that needs to be the closer attention, have closer attention paid to it. Um, Cause king of cups, eight of cups, two of cups. So that, yeah, there's this, I want to say that there's some, a, a relationship that was similar to what this was in the past that you need to emotionally 
reflect on and see what your part was in why it didn't work because it's it's likely that the same reasons it didn't work are the same reasons that this didn't work or the same reasons that this because if it's not if it's family and, and you know you're going to be dealing so with something that's blown up and you know emotionally left you a little upset you know it could be family so i mean if something that you it's like you're not reflecting on what your part in it was so that that cycle won't repeat because the hermit is you are asking yourself before we jump off and do the you know what the heck happened um yeah because the king of cups is a good energy to go into a relationship with but you're walking away so it's it's like an avoidance it's an emotional avoidance it's you're looking at i want to say it's almost like a self-pitying like like you don't feel that you had a part in whatever this was that broke this this relationship down but oh yes it takes two to tango even even I recognize, as ever since being an adult, I put myself in every relationship I was in that was poor, that people didn't treat me well in. I put myself there. I allowed that abuse to continue by not recognizing it as abuse even. And we don't know until we know. So it takes that reflection on yourself to really understand what your part in is so those things don't happen again. So... I believe that's exactly what this spread is telling me is that we most certainly do even when we feel like we have done everything just right in fact we have not because had we done everything just right then nothing bad happens so that bad thing that happened is a sign from the universe up oh, all parties you know have all parties have an equal part to play in a deconstruction deconstruction of something so you've allowed yourself to be in a situation that was abusive for too long you're an adult unless you're chained to a pole or tied to a bed what was forcing you to stay some cycle that really is asking you you're asking yourself here whether you are subconsciously or not before you leap off like tra la 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 nothing happened nothing to see here the hermit's asking, please stop and reflect on what this moon is in your heart space. This unknown that you're failing to see. What was your part? What parts of you are needing healed so that you can recognize going forward that this won't happen again? That the breakdown, the emotional flare-up and breakdown in this relationship won't happen again. So go within, dear hermit, Virgo. <laughs> I hope this helps. Bye.